Hi all, welcome back to Embedded Brew. In the new episode of this ESP32 series, we are going to learn AI. Yes, we are going to use AI so that we can do face and eye recognition. In the getting started with ESP32 cam, we have used the web server example. In that, if you remember, there was the option of face detection and face recognition. But for some reason, that is not working properly. And there are some limitations as well. If you are going more than some higher resolution, it will show some error. The face detection will not work. That's why we are going to use Python script here. We are going to install some Python IDE. And with that, with the Python script, we can do the face recognition correctly. With that, we are adding the eye recognition as well. So now we are detecting the face as well as the eyes. Are you excited? So let's kick off today's video. For this project, we need this, the ESP32 CAM model. And to program this ESP32 CAM, we are going to use this FTDI model. And for to connect these two things, we are going to use this PCB. If we are using the jumper wire, then we are getting that fatal error. To overcome that, I have designed this PCB with all the connections. You can check out the circuit, how to connect this in the description below. There is the link to our blog. You can see the complete guide there. For now, I am going to connect it here like this. And the FDDI model like this. Done. And here is the header for the short circuit of this particular GPIO pin. And now, let me connect it to my computer. See, it is connected. Now, let's go to the computer and do some coding so now let's open up the arduino ide and here choose your board go to tools and you can choose any esp32 cam board here we are choosing ai thinker esp32 cam then com port is also selected as com 14 after that go to files then examples here in the esp32 section here you can see cam camera and camera web server click on this and the camera web server example will be appear in the screen and this particular code this particular example we have already used it in the previous one actually uh, in the getting started video of this esp32 cam we have used this example so this is the example code and we just have to change few things first of all this is it will be changed to camera model ai thinker instead of this uh, here it is camera module AI thinker. Then after that change your SSID and password. In this space put your SSID and password. Here you can see the board and com port is already selected. Now click on upload. So as you can see now the port is now uploaded to this ESP32 cam board. Now open your serial monitor and just remove this header. Whatever we have short circuited remove it and now click on the reset button and now you can see here uh, the Wi-Fi is connected and camera is ready to use so copy this IP address and open your browser and paste it here I have already tested it so whenever you will paste it this web page will appear on your screen and we have already seen it in the getting started with ESP32 cam board video and here there are a lot of options that you can try uh, let's start from here the start stream button if you click it then here the stream will start and you can see the videos now it is uh, reverse so let me just flip it see okay done hi so now what we will do uh, there are the different options you can see like you can change the resolution you can add some effects anything like that so we are not going to focus on that we have already tried all this in our previous video so what we are going to try we are going to see this face detection and face recognition so I am clicking here on face detection and it is saying please select CIA for lower resolution to enable this feature so okay let me choose CIF only now 
क्लिक ऑन फेस डिटेक्शन ओके लेट मी चूज लेस देन सी आई एफ क्यू भी जी एफ ओके नाउ क्लिक ऑन फेस डिटेक्शन एंड एज यू कैन सी हियर इट इज नॉट डिटेक्टिंग एनी फेस ना इधर फेस डिटेक्शन नॉट रिकोगनाइजेशन नथिंग इज हैपनिंग हियर सी नो डिटेक्शन इज हैपनिंग दैट साई वी हैव टू ट्राई समथिंग एल्स एंड हियर आई केम विथ द पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट सो फॉर दैट लेट्स आर सम पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट सो दैट एग्जैक्टली आई डोंट नो वाई दिस इज नॉट हैपनिंग आई एम वॉचिंग ए लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज एंड एवरी वन डूइंग इट बट इन माई केस आई डोंट नो वाई इट इज नॉट हैपनिंग सो लेट्स ट्राई द पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट एंड वी विल डू फेस रिकोगनाइजेशन विथ पाइथन टू रन पाइथन इन आवर कंप्यूटर वी हैव टू डाउनलोड एनी काइंड ऑफ पाइथन आई डी आई डोंट नो हाउ पीपल आर डूइंग विथ सी एम डी एंड ऑल दैट आई मीन आई नो बट दैट्स क्वाइट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एनी काइंड ऑफ पाइथन आई डी सो फॉर दिस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज थोनी पाइथन आई डी वाई दिस बिकॉज लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल आर यूजिंग सम अदर प्लेटफॉर्म्स बट आई एम यूजिंग दिस वन बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी हैव दिस वन वाई बिकॉज इन हियर वी यूज टू ट्राई द माइक्रो पाइथन फॉर रासबेरी पाए पिको सो आई हैव दिस ऑलरेडी यू कैन डाउनलोड इट्स कंप्लीटली फ्री एंड यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम देयर वेबसाइट I will add the link in the description below to check out and download this Thony Python IDE. So this is the Python script that we are going to use for the face recognition. Initially, we are using just three libraries. One is OpenCV, one is NumPy, and URL library dot request. So this is as we are working with the online project. So this will copy that URL and show all the data. So initially, we have to import all these three libraries, and this is this is easy here. with the id go to tools manage packages and here you can install you can install anything from here or if that is not listed here you can search it and install so it's that easy now click on close so the next line is f underscore cache that is cb2 cache code classifier then i cascade so these two lines are a kind of har cascades R cascades means these are some pre-trained models for face and eye detection. Okay, in here we are doing two things. We will detect the face as well as the eyes inside the face. Okay, so that's why we are using two cases here. <coughs> two type of trained models we are using here. One for face, one for eye. After that, here is the URL option where we have see. where we can see http in one this is the ip address slash capture so just go to your browser and let's see here it is 106 whatever it is just copy this one now open your python ide and here you can just paste it okay now it's done now we have given the url here so whatever will be seen on that url the particular thing can be seen on our python platform now after that we are create creating a window a window where we can see the video so that's why this is the name window whatever will be live transmission will be happening window will window is given as auto size whatever size we will choose in our website that will be seen in this python page after that uh, this is the main loop while true all these parts will run and with that the i and everything will be uh, detected if you want to learn the code in detail you can check out our blog in there we have discussed all these codes line by line so that it will be easier for you to read and understand what is the meaning of all these code so after this loop whatever the result will come out this i am show this live transmission image will be shown on a window after that the loop will be break and the all windows will be closed so that's how it will happen and for the complete explanation you can check out the blog that is given in the description below now click on this green button this is the run button so i am clicking on run and as you can see here this is the cell where we can see the output Here you can see run eyes dot py. It is taking some amount of time, but that's okay. 
so now you can see a live transmission window is appearing on our screen and just close this one and this is the one so let me open our browser okay this is the browser and this is the live transmission screen okay so let me add them side by side and as you can see here this is detecting my face here as well the eye is also detecting but in this case even though the face detection is on face recognition on everything is on but still it is not detecting anything let me remove my glasses and here you can see now it is perfectly capturing the face as well as the eyes uh, let me change the picture size here the resolution here it is a little bigger screen but in this case the face detection is disabled but in our python script this is detecting the face here you can see even with the small change even with the bigger screen with the better resolution it is detecting the face now whatever changes we are going to do on this website like here we are changing the vertical flip you can see the vertical flip is also changing in our python script uh, let's say turn it on or uh, we can try changing the some color effects like gray scale here you can see the python script is also turning into gray so that's how it is happening right so that's how we are doing face detection so that's all about our today's tutorial if you find it helpful then hit on that like button share it with your friends and if you have any thoughts suggestions the comment section is all yours and use this coupon code to join the seven day arduino master class and hurry up this is only for first 50 participants and don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit this bell icon so that whenever i will upload a new video you can get the instant notification see you in the next one till then be cool work smart